Hey, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good week. It's Jenny here and I'm back with another Hot Tips Tuesday. Hot Tips Tuesday, Hot Tips Tuesday. I have a really simple tip for you today, but it has to do with a kind of complicated but exciting topic and that is vibrato. Vibrato is the point where your playing goes from sounding kind of student-like and robotic to really sounding professional. It's a left-hand technique that causes a wavering in pitch and it makes the violin sound more like the emotional expression of the human voice. If you want me to tell you everything you ever wanted to know and probably some things that you didn't want to know about vibrato, then sign up for my free vibrato course so that I can tell you all about it. And that's link in bio or link right, I can put it in the video too. I'll eventually learn where those go and I'll point in the right direction. For now, I'm just covering all of my bases. Here's one of my favorite vibrato pieces played with all arm vibrato. I had to rely on arm vibrato because I needed it up and running as quickly as possible for getting this stuff going on stage. I was already playing guitar with the band and I wanted to get the violin on the stage. You'll see that the arm vibrato is nice and wide and dramatic. It does really lack some of the finesse of control that you can get once you really get your wrist trained up. But I don't, I don't, I don't personally miss it much. I use, I still use arm vibrato most of the time. This is an old Greek song about a man who returned home from being at war for many months to find that his loved one had been stolen and given to the enemy. So it's one that definitely needs the emotional range that vibrato can give you. Before I jump into my main vibrato tip, I want to give you a pre-tip to the vibrato tip, which is that if you feel like working on vibrato, you're ready to work on vibrato. 
like, yeah, there's a certain point where you're ready to work on it more. If you can't work on it all the time, if you're still working on your other skills, but you can practice it a little bit alongside all of your other skills and you can get a head start for getting your vibrato skill realized in your playing. And the sooner that you start, the better. You'll hear some warnings like, don't practice vibrato until all of your intonation is amazing in first position because it can mask bad intonation. And I'm like, mask bad intonation? Where's the downside? I'm all about masking bad intonation. If it's gonna sound better, it'll make me practice more, it'll make me enjoy playing, it'll make other people enjoy my playing more. And that's one of those things that's left over from the old school teaching where it's like if you're trying to compete in the top symphonies or you wanna be the next prodigy of the world, then everything has to be perfect. But for now, mask a little bad intonation, I'm, I'm down for it. Now I know that everybody here watching the Hot Violinist YouTube channel doesn't have bad intonation and you never play a wrong note. But for that one note that maybe doesn't come out quite like you heard it, to be able to throw that vibrato in and just kind of massage it in there so that it fits with the rest of the song in a musical way, doesn't catch the ear of the listener, but just keeps them in line with the music, that's worth it. But since I cover everything about vibrato in that free course that you can sign up for, I just wanna give you one quick tip today so that you can take this into whatever vibrato YouTube rabbit holes you wanna go down. And that is this, here's our tip. As an adult learner, start with arm vibrato first and then learn wrist vibrato if you feel like it. But until you know arm vibrato, don't even mess around with wrist vibrato. And here's the difference between those two. I'm trying not to get into too much that I do in the court, in the, in the vibrato course, um, cause I really did want to keep this tip nice and simple today. Like a little sound bite, arm vibrato, not wrist vibrato. But now I feel like I have to say that in order to get the vibrato pitch waiver, your note has to go down and then back up again. So we're getting a rolling of our finger and that happens from your knuckles going back so that the finger can roll. And the difference between wrist and arm vibrato is just what muscles are moving in order to get those knuckles going back so that the finger can roll. And in wrist vibrato, it is a hinge from the wrist. And in arm vibrato, it's a hinge from the elbow where the wrist stays straight and the knuckles are sent back. And to show you why it's so much easier to learn arm vibrato, I have this book. <laughs> What, and, and this is something that you can try just so that you can feel the sense of the knuckles going back and the book is there just so that you get that little knock sound that, um, so that when, you're, when you're floating in the air, it's kind of hard to tell, is my, are my knuckles going back or are they not? So maybe it's not that hard to tell, but the book, um, with the book, it's for sure. <laughs> so just go ahead and try bending at your wrist to knock on the book. It's not that difficult. Now try opening at your elbow to knock up the book. I don't know about you, but even at these slow speeds, I feel more control opening my elbow. If I was gonna knock on a door and I wanted to do it quickly to really get the attention of the people inside, I would definitely use my whole arm. Um, now try that a little bit more quickly from your wrist. Um, see how the faster that you go, it's very, it's, it's hard to control. You feel like this tension come into your hand. Um, it's hard to get it even. It's hard to get it loud. It's hard to get it fast. It's lovely to be able to eventually train this up so that you can do that without it creating a bunch of tension in your hand. But because it's a smaller group of muscles, these muscles aren't really trained for doing as many things as these larger groups of as larger muscle groups. So as an adult, if you want to learn quickly, which we all do, because then the more quickly that you learn, then the more you enjoy playing. So then you practice more. And as you're putting more time into it, 
because you're having fun, then you're gonna get even better and better and it just snowballs. Little things that give you an advantage to learn a little bit more quickly are really a, a huge deal. So that's why I'm saying learn arm vibrato and do not mess with the wrist vibrato till you got the arm vibrato down and are liking your sound. So, and I talk a whole lot more about that in my free vibrato course, which you can sign up for free because it's a free class in the link in the description. But that quick hot tip is simply, if you're looking at other tutorials and things, look for the arm movement one over the wrist. These larger muscles can be trained up in an average of eight weeks, eight to 12 weeks, while the finer muscles of the wrist, does, it does take six months to a year. I'll see you back here hopefully next Tuesday and until then, fiddle on.